it's going to be very, very exciting. I think it, this show has always been done on such a small scale. Now to take it big, let's do it. Bring it on. Exactly. Yeah. And for, for me, it's my West End debut, so I'm really thrilled. And I did this in New York on a very small stage and a very small scale like this. So it's uh, exciting on many, many different levels. They've been, they've been, um, <laughs> I guess, very supportive of the, the crazy schizophrenic ways that I, that I <laughs> <laughs> and they're utilizing them. Um, there's a number that I performed um, when I did the show in New York, uh, a Kristen Chenoweth number, I'm not giving too much away, and we're tweaking that a little bit and putting it into the West End production and uh, a few others, but I don't want to give She's too much away. She's a great Chenoweth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm very old and I have two children, so my brain is like porridge anyway, so I'm like, like Ugh. But no, it is exciting, and, and, and every, well, not every night, but hope if things happen during the week or things happen during the month that we're there, a couple of months we're there, there'll be changes and we're ready yeah. for them. Yeah, we're exactly, ready. and that's the fun thing about a show like Forbidden Broadway is it is always changing anyway because it's topical so yes. if something happens on the West End even tomorrow we're gonna have to make a reference to it or change something in the show tonight sure. so changes are something I think the Forbidden Broadway crew is sort of used to I think most of the actors who are lampooned see it as sort of a privilege you know they totally. always say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery and I mm -hmm. really do believe that's the case yeah. everything in the show is done with love even if it doesn't seem that way it's all done with love yeah I think a lot of the audiences that seek out a show like Forbidden Broadway are already sort of the in crowd of the theater scene, or at least I like to think they yeah, are. Yeah. And I think also the smaller, more artsy venues sort of bring in that that audience more generally. Yeah. So when you bring it to the West End, there's going to be a little bit of, I think, of a learning curve for us and how we present the material and uh, how it's paced. And, but it's also exciting because that's the fun thing about live theater is learning the changes with the changing audiences. And the great thing about this show is, even if you don't know all the musicals, you'll always know Les Mis and you'll always right. know Lion King, so there'll be little moments where you go, oh, I know that one. Mm -hmm. And the ones that you don't know, hopefully we're hilarious anyway, so you're going to laugh. Yeah. So. <laughs> I've got two little ones, and they think it's brilliant. And then you get like, you get old coach parties, and go, oh, let's go and see that. And then they're like, what the hell? For the first five minutes, people are like, what? Then they find it hilarious, because it is. I mean, and each little number is two, three minutes long. So you've got time to laugh your socks off, and then go, oh, it's gone. And then the next one comes mm -hmm. on. So I think it covers all bases. I'd say if you want to have the best two hours where you just laugh your socks off, leave your troubles at the door, come mm -hmm. and have a laugh, and see every single West End show yeah. and Broadway show, you're done in two hours. That's what you don't I'd need say. to see Wicked, because we do it. Yeah. You don't need to see Le Mis, we do it. Like we do the lot. <laughs> that's what she said, exactly. <laughs> Come to, to London, you want to see a show, you don't know what to see? See, see our show. Broadway. We'll do everything. You won't miss <laughs> one thing, price of one ticket, it's golden.